Good morning. Um, I'm here with just one of my little munchkins today. And James is going to help me um, explain die graphs. Because my brother's not feeling well. He's just not himself today. We all have those mornings. Um, but so, they want me to do everything. So James has been helping out a lot, which is really nice. Um, so we're going to learn about die graphs today. We're going to review die graphs because I know you've all done die graphs before. Um, but they may be a little fuzzy for you. So, a digraph is, James, do you want to give it a go? A digraph is like, 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 shh. Okay, like, shh. Shh. So, I describe it as two letters that say one sound, okay? And James brought up the digraph SH, which is shh. So, everybody, SH, ship, shh. Can you say that, James? S-H-I-P. Yep, and we spell ship. How would we spell it, James? Um, S-H-I-P. Perfect. And the way we represent that one sound is we underline the S and the H to show us one sound. S-H-I-P. Sh. And I like to go sh, because it's not sha. I like it. It's sh. Oh, you do? Thanks. <laughs> um, let's go through them all, because I know you've learned them all. So we're going to do a quick review of our digraphs. Okay. C H chin ch. Go ahead, James. C H chin ch. C K sock k. C K sock. W H whistle w. W H whistle w. T H thumb. T H thumb. Good. It's important. It's not not like an F. It's like so your tongue goes between your teeth. And in some of you are missing some teeth, like my little bugger over here, who's missing two. So it could be a little challenging. We do the best we can. So let's look at this word, James. Let's look at this word. What is this word? Do you know? Um, Want to tap chin. it? Chin. Let's tap chin together. Ch. So we use two fingers. Ch. I. N. Chin. I totally forgot to say that. Thank you so much. James, can you tap it out with me? Ch, I, N, chin. So it's three sounds like James says, but four letters. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was a great point. Thank you. And what do you notice? What's the difference between Y, C, K at the It's the end of, at the end of the word. It's at the end. And most of the time we find C, K at the end of the word, okay? We don't find C, K at the beginning. Okay. We can find it in the middle, like in the word. First, do that. This is a tough one, so let's see if we can do it. Ch. I. K. K. Chick. Chick. And, also and then chicken. So the E. K. C. K. is in the middle. Yes. And also, my friend told you, Lindsay, that live in Duxbury, they got chicks. And they got chicks, which is super cool. And we have chicks has two digraphs in it C H and C K. Okay. So really quickly, we can find CK at the end. When you hear the K sound at the end of a word, a lot of times it's CK. CK cannot be found at the beginning of a word. SH can be found at the beginning, the middle, or the end. CH can be found at the beginning, middle, or end of a word, right? And then WH, a lot of times you find it at the beginning. You don't really find it at the end, okay? Like in the word whistle, okay? And TH, thumb, Okay. Can we find TH at the end? Um, what about this word? Tap it out. What itch which? Ooh, close. What does TH say? What it with. With. So what it with. Four letters. I can't really see three them. sounds. Oh, they can't see with. With. W I T H. Okay, so our lesson today is on digraphs. Digraphs are two letters that say one sound. The digraphs you're learning today, okay? The C H, S H, C K, W H, and T H. Okay, what do we say? See Bye. you soon. Bye. Thanks for joining.